The Age of Plunder by W.G. Hoskins, The England of Henry VIII, 1500 to 47. So you get like the face of the country, rural society, urban life, uh, the plunder of the church, and a few other topics. Um, so you get a look of what kind of England Henry like inherited and how it was when he was ruling. So like you get like landscape, religion, um, towns, etc. So like what were they up to that point of him coming like up to like 1500 and then moving on so and going more into like the religion, landscaping, land owner, ownership, social structure. Um, so it, it continues on, but how it went on in um, those almost 50 years. Um, and it is more on, like to me, it, it is more on the people and the land rather than it is of Henry and you do get um, later on more of like the religion church aspect of um, of of it all. So um, it talks about like the earliest printed book on agriculture from Augsburg. Um, in um, so like framing English towns, uh, urban population and economy, holidays, wages, like what days like um, people would or wouldn't be working. Um, so like ch um, with the churches, like the bishops income, estates, monasteries, um, attacks on their lands. Um, so, and then it goes into like different types of um, industry, so like cloth building, mining, metal, and so on. It does um, a little bit talk about um, overseas trade, um, Navigations Act of 1485, and then 1489, um, grain, um, it does have like a little bit like a paragraph or so like about like women like popping out 20 to 25 kids depending on like if they do start as soon as they're able to start reproducing and like some going like hitting pretty much hitting those marks of kids um but yeah, like overall, the different situations that have occurred in his reign, um, but also the effects of his actions or non-actions, trade, war, growth, and whatever. So, like, if those if those types of things um, are of interest um, to you, like. Um, a different type of um, look on Henry VIII <laughs> rather than his marital situations. Um, yeah, um, so trying to um, the working week hours of work regulated by the statute of 19, 1495 and they rem remained virtually unchanged until the 19th century um, after reciting that many uh, artifacts and laborers waste much part of their day and deserve not their wages sometimes in late coming to work early departing their fun let long sitting at their breakfast at their dinner and their non-noon meat um Um, 
um, commercial war, um, but um, yeah, it does go through a few different topics and so on. Um, but yeah, if that time and Henry the Eighth. Um, has some sort of interest to you, um, this could um, be a decent book to have a look into. So yeah, The Age of Plunder, happy readings.